CEO and co-founder of eLabs Technologies Private Limited. We work on remote IV fluid management for hospitals and home care. I started exploring functional issues with IV therapy way back in 2016 when my friend had a serious issue with IV therapy in a hospital. According to a study done by NICE UK, one in five people on an IV trip suffer from some sort of complications because of its inappropriate use. These complications can vary from a simple extravasation or underinfusion or overinfusion of fluid, which can lead to patient morbidity or bad patient experience. Infusion pumps are the only solutions to make an IV therapy effective, but they are only used in high risk medications as it requires large amount of training and infrastructure requirements to be set up. So, medical professionals still largely resort to gravity infusions itself for post operative and normal clinical settings. We focus on this market where our product improves the quality of IV therapy and gravity drips. Introducing Dripo, the smart IV management solution for hospitals and home cases. Dripo is a portable wireless device to monitor the flow of IV fluids in drips. It can be planned to the IV chamber, it detects the flow rate and sends the data back to the club. The status of all infusions done by the Dripo can be monitored remotely from any nursing stations or from a mobile device. The software logs the data and generates NADH compliant infusion charts for the nurses. Global infusion pumps market size is expected to reach 18.5 billion by 2025. Dripo will be able to cater the low and medium critical infusions which caters almost 80% of the total market. We foresee a great demand for infusion monitoring and control in the post-pandemic world. We also see rise of home healthcare and increased compliance for treatment records as major driving factors to increase this market adoption. Our revenue model is a mix of hardware sales and SaaS based revenue. We charge $100 per unit of infusion monitor Dripo and also a nominal service fee as a software service charge. We sell through conventional distributorship channels as well as we integrate our systems with uh, hospital information systems company so that they also can become our channel partners. Our major competitors are Shift Labs based out in US and Monitor based out in Finland. Our device is more usable with its patented clapping mechanism along with the software filtering codes which makes the device much more easier to use compared to our competitors. An advanced version of Dripo helps the nurses to control IV drip remotely unlike other competitors. We will get ISO 13485 medical devices QMS certification by the end of this month. And we plan to start our production of next thousand units by the next month. And also we have completed the POC of automatic controller, which we are taking forward to regulated clearance. We have received an inventory capital for producing thousand units from COVID consortium called BIRAC, Department of Biotechnology, Government of India. We have also received interest from major players in the market like Becton Dickinson for partnerships. We have got orders for 50 units and have received interest in distributorship from India, Spain, France, Vietnam and Singapore. We are a team of designers, engineers and social science researchers. I handle business and strategy in e clubs and has a background in design. Sanjay, my co-founder, uh, handles technology and has a background in control systems. Shruti handles operations and has done her PhD in social science. We are also backed by angel investors and advisors from global medical device companies. We are looking forward to ready 7.3 crores INR in exchange of 15 to 20 percentage equity. We will be using that money to sell 20,000 units of Dripo Infusion Monitor in the next two years and also get regulatory certifications and launch the next automatic controller version to the market. Thank you for listening to our pitch. Stay safe.